Is Jake Paul's financial freedom course worth it? If you frequently use the internet or different social media platforms, you must have heard about Jake Paul, also referred to as the internet's problem child. This 25-year-old controversial American media personality has played boxing professionally, acted on Disney TV show, and released hip-hop music videos. But he initially rose to fame by making videos on a social media platform called Fine, on which he had millions of followers. Although the site was discontinued, Jake channeled his energy onto YouTube where he posts his video now. And now, he is offering a financial freedom course on a website for his fans. So if you want to find out if it's worth the money, then watch this video until the end. Throughout his career, Jake has always managed to be in the spotlight for creating controversy after controversy, whether it's for criminal trespassing or trash talking about sports. And so, with the huge number of controversies the YouTube star has ignited in the past, it shouldn't be a shock that he has found his way to yet another headline. This time, he has launched a course for learning entrepreneurship online and has named the venture the Financial Freedom Movement. This is a revamped version of his last failure at Fluence. The program's website has his face plastered and persuades his youthful audience to expend a sum of $19.99 per month to receive perks like cutting-edge coaching, training, and mentorship by him and learn about Jake's secret formula, personal experiences, and rituals. In addition, it offers live video call coaching sessions on a weekly basis with Jake Paul himself and becomes a part of the private community. But this sounds better than it is. If you look closely, it becomes obvious that this is just another opportunity for Paul to make money by exploiting young people. In these videos, he spends nearly 50% of the video's time duration promoting his own products. He does this regularly and repeatedly using as many keywords as possible so that it sticks to his audience's mind. And they either purchase his merch, his tour tickets, or merch, or stream his new single. Just like we said, only money grabs the opportunity for him. It is not a hidden fact that Paul always comes up with brand new strategies to earn money, either through a pay-per-view sham wedding or a fake sponsorship that encourages his young audience to gamble. So this new venture isn't anything different. The financial freedom movement is barely another plot in Jake's long list of absurd money-making schemes. The financial freedom movement comes with an additional price. In one of his tweets promoting his new program, Paul says that he is unhappy with the education system and points out that it's not teaching kids any skills that will be useful to them in real life or help them secure their future. Paul has previously made it very apparent that he has no interest in formal educations and is completely anti-education. He has also created a diss track for his teachers, but his publicity for the financial freedom movement stretches anti-education. It illustrates Jake's new undertaking as being a better alternative to the conventional education system. But the truth is that we all know his words do not hold any weight. By advertising this kind of message on social media, Paul is only prompting his young fans and viewers to give up high school just like him and then cheat to receive a high school diploma from an online course. And even though some critical areas of the education systems deserve criticism, they should not come from people like Jake. In a world where it is already noticed that the youth is less invested in or care about their educations than they should, this is a very unpleasant message to convey to the young generation. Paul, who played Dirk Man on a Disney TV channel show titled Bizarre Fark, is striking onto the substantial entrepreneurial passion with a website that states that we are all told to attend college, get employed, and then take retirement when we turn 65. And how is all of this working for us? With this, Paul is soliciting his younger audience's anxieties. According to a survey by NOR, about 78% of the younger generations, also termed as millennials, are concerned about finding decent employment opportunities, and nearly 79% of them suspect that they might not have earned sufficient fortune to retire when the time comes. So young people are naturally scurrying to find new sources of financial security in a dangling economy that appears totally unfavorable and extremely unstable. And Jake Paul, advising them to drop out of high school to start a career as a social media influencer or entrepreneur is not the solutions to these problems. They are only a money-making opportunity for Jake. Therefore, his new venture is not worth it. This is all for today. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Once then, remember to like and share this video.